Hi everyone, I'm back again. I thought I'd do another sit down video today. Um, apologies if I sound a bit weird um, or if I look a bit weird. I've got a bit of a cold and a sore throat. Um, so sorry about that. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag. Um, I know it's a really old YouTube video um, but I've found loads of them recently and I've been watching them and I find them really interesting so I thought I'd show you what's in my bag. So first thing um, about the bag, it's by Manta Ray. Um, I got it from Debenhams, not the Christmas just gone, the Christmas before. Um, I actually went and picked it out but then my mum bought it for me for Christmas. It's got two smaller slip pockets at the front and then one bigger zip pocket at the back and one main compartment inside. So the first thing opening up is my diary. Um, I wouldn't be able to survive without this. It's um, from, it doesn't actually say. Um, my mum bought me it about this time last year. It's an academic diary, September to August, um, that I use for all my shifts for work, all my NYT commitments, all my casual shifts here, there and everywhere, anything and everything else that I need to know, um, and I'd be lost without it. The next thing in here is my purse. Um, it's by Lila and Tilly, um, that I've never actually heard of. It's from, my mum got me it for Christmas. I think the same Christmas she got me the bag. Um, and it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes and the heart is a heart. Um, so I'll show you that. Um, and it's very me, if you know me and Disney, it's very me. The next thing is keys. They're my car keys uh, with a, a Mickey fluffy key ring and a mini hard key ring to my car. Uh, next thing is my ID pass um, and locker key for the theatre. Um, I wear that, it's sort of part of my uniform. It also gets me round the building and into my locker. So I just tend to keep that with me even when I'm not at work. So next thing goes with that, my usher's torch covered in hair. Lovely. So it's on a retractable I don't know what do you call that belt thing. It's not a lanyard. What do you call it? What do you call it? What is it? I can't think. I can't think what it's called. But basically, that clips onto my belt, um, and then it's by my side all the time. Just because basically I don't have pockets, um, and we keep this on us. Obviously, ushering. If people come in and need showing, like coming late and need to get to the seats, we can use the torch show them. Again, next thing that's related to work is my clocking in fob on a lanyard. Um, I've only recently just got that. Another member of staff found it like in there. They were clearing out their drawer and they were like, oh, I've got this. Do you want it? Because originally that fob was on my other lanyard. Um, but then I thought at least I'm not carrying that round when I am at the theatre. I've not got my fob on me as well. A pen. In fact, two Three pens, um, they seem to have found their way into my bag um, from work, I don't know where they've come from, and then one that I have anyway, it's always handy to have a pen, um, either for writing in my diary or if you go somewhere and someone, oh has anybody got a pen? Yep, yeah, got three, so a pen. Bit of polo wrapper, actually there's, there's not any in here, but normally I do have some mints in my bag, I always have like a packet of polos or some mentos or something. Next thing, hairbrush, it's covered in hair, um, that's a bit disgusting. It's got mini Mouse on it, it's a bit faded and a bit rubbed off, um, but it's got mini Mouse on it and then it's got a little key ring, mini Mickey head dangling off it. Um, just a small hairbrush to keep in my bag, always good to have. So yeah, I've got a hairbrush, hand sanitizer. Who doesn't need hand sanitizer? Um, it's quite a big one. This actually, I don't, I don't know. I think I probably had it like when I've gone to London or somewhere, um, and I've put a bigger, bigger bottle in. But I prefer the ones that are a bit smaller. You know, they're about this size, um, just because it's it's good to have them. Um, and I do get, you know, like when you've been somewhere and your hands feel a bit sticky and a bit minging, and you're like, oh, 
I'm a bit funny with stuff like that. I quite like to wash my hands. I, I have noticed, like, at work, I wash my hands quite a lot, like, if I've been dealing with money. Um, or if I've, like, if I've been writing on a whiteboard, I'm always like, oh, right, okay, I want to wash my hands now. So it's always nice to have some hand sanitizer. Next thing, hand cream. Um, <clears throat> one of my goals for last year was to stop picking the skin on my fingers. Because um, what I've noticed that I do, it used to be more when I was kind of either a bit anxious or bored. Um, I'd kind of subconsciously, and I'd be sat there and I'd just be like picking the skin, usually on my thumbs, but I'd sit there chewing it. Um, and I've noticed now, I've kind of got out of the habit, but if my hands are dry, which for some reason I seem to get really dry hands, that's when I start picking them. So I've always started carrying some hand sanitizer. This one's um, just a Garnier one. I've not really got a brand or anything that I like that I keep in my bag. It's just something that's whatever's on offer at the time. Um, when I think, oh, I'm getting low on hand cream, I'll buy some more. Oh, that one's only a pound, I'll get that. Hang on. Four pens, another pen. So that's the main compartment bit empty. Um, so in the back, in the back panel now, zip pocket, there's not a lot in here. Uh, first off, various different types of paracetamol, paracetamol, two empty packets of ibuprofen, so I'll get rid of them. A mirror, it's, I can't remember who got me this, someone bought me it for my birthday and I can't remember if it was my mum or possibly Aisha did you get me it I don't know comment let me know if you got me this it's a uh, slightly dusty it's got two so one's the top one's really magnified and then the bottom one's just a normal one it's always nice to have a mirror um so the last thing a couple of hair clips I think they're more oh is there anything else in there now yeah, I think they're in there more because I've probably been somewhere and taken them out of my hair rather than having them in there just in case, if that makes sense. Moving on to these two front pockets, I'm not actually 100% sure what's in here. So on the left hand side is <coughs> some Downton Abbey lip balm. Um, I definitely know where this came from. Jan got me it. Um, it came in another one, in fact I can see it down there now. Um, a blue one for my birthday in like a two pack. So I always like to keep lip balm with me. Some pseudocreme. Um, I know it's in a body shop pot and it actually says hemp hand protector on the back but it's just a little pot of pseudocreme. Um, again, that's more for my fingers or, <clears throat> you know like sometimes, in fact I'll put some on now. I've got a little cut on my finger there. Um, it's always good to have pseudocreme. I know some people think it's bum cream. It's not, I think it's amazing. Um, I use it on spots, I use it on everything. So, <clears throat> I always like to have pseudocreme with me. Next thing, oh, I wonder where these are gone. That explains, Ugh. I think I'll take those out. They're my apple earbud things, but, ew, they weren't that manky when I put them in there, surely. I've been looking for these, these the earphones that came with my iPod Nano about nine years ago when I got it that I used with my iPod, iPad. I didn't know they were there, I seemed to, I thought I'd lost them, that's where they were, but they're really manky, like the wire wasn't that disgusting. Lovely, I've got eight new earphones now, I think I might just get rid of them. Mm. Lovely. Um, so that's what was in one compartment. Going over to the other is, oh okay, a lipstick. Um, it's a Rimmel London one. It's like a dark purple one. The other thing is an Avon um, it's a tinted lip balm so it looks white that what you meant to do looks white um, but it's just a yeah it's like a pearly kind of shimmer color it's actually called pearlescent red but it's not it's not red more white and that's it that's everything that's in my bag I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a like and comment down below 
and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.